Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the yard sale haul of the last yard sale footage that you saw. So we're just going to get straight into it. I have a decent amount of things to show and that kind of thing. So we're going to start in on some vintage Tupperware measuring cups. I got this set here. Um, I love these things. My mom had a set of orange ones um, when I was growing up and I do have them. Um, I love like the sound that they make when you nest them back together. I'm really weird, but isn't this just a satisfying sound? I think it is. Anyway, I decided to pick these up. Um, I wish that they had the matching measuring spoons to go with it. I feel like when you have these vintage Tupperware measuring cups, if you can sell them with the spoons, you can make a little more than if you just have the spoons or just have the cups. I paid $1 for these cups and I listed them up as a buy it now for $15.99. So. I like the color of them too. They're like a cheery type of yellow. I got this ashtray and this is just a little ceramic Christmas tree shaped ashtray. I mean you could use it as like a trinket uh, dish type of thing but like the trunk is where you would like lay your cigarette. And this is actually by Holt Howard. It's marked 1959 on the back. There are a little bit of issues on this. There's like a tiny little nick right here. And then on the back, there's a chip. But when it's just sitting there, you can't see it. So I don't know. I decided to pick it up. It was only 25 cents. So I figured you can't go wrong. Vintage Christmas for a quarter. I would never be able to pay that at say an auction. This thing would go for way more than a quarter. So I picked it up for 25 cents and I listed it as a buy it now for $12.99. I'm just gonna go in order. I like to go in order as I have things written down so I don't get confused as to what I shared and what I didn't. Uh, Cause there have been times before where I completely miss something <laughs> while I'm doing my haul videos. So this shirt is a men's golf polo and it's just kind of like a cream color, I guess you'd say. Uh, this is by Givenchy, if I am pronouncing that correctly. Probably not. You guys know my pronunciations are horrible. I'm getting like a lot of notifications right now. Um, this is brand new. It still has the tags and it is vintage. It's definitely an older... Um, piece. I got this at a fill -a bag rummage sale. Um, so I'm trying to get through the stuff that I got at the fill -a bag rummage sale. So this actually wasn't from a yarn sale. So in the grand scheme of things, I paid about $1 for this and I listed it up with a buy it now for $49.99. Like I said, it's new with tags, it's vintage designer. Um, it is a size medium. I wish it were a little larger than that, but not going to complain. We'll see if it goes. Um, if not, like obviously I'm willing to come down on the price of that. All right, this next item I also got at a fill -a bag rummage sale. This is a men's short sleeve. This is a Dickies button up work shirt size. What size are you? An extra large. Uh, but it has a embroidered patch here on the left side chest that says big bad voodoo daddy that was like a um swing band i don't know if they're still around or not but back when swing music was like really popular they were pretty popular back in the day so i thought this was kind of cool to find so it's slightly like a band shirt but bands like that had shirts that they did um, that were like work shirts. I know a lot of punk bands did that too. Uh, so this I have it up as a buy it now for $39.99. So I did see other ones that did sell. So we'll see if that one goes. I found this really pretty pin. So I love the look of this. I thought it had such a pretty vintage look to it. It is a gold Christmas tree pin with these like different colored um, 
pieces that make it look like ornaments basically and like a little red there on the top so it is a little brooch pin and it is marked it's marked bj so it does have a signature i paid one dollar for this pin and i put it up on auction with a starting price of 19 dollars 99 so when i was seeing other uh christmas pins with this same signature the prices were kind of like all over the place so I went with $19.99 so we'll see if it sells for at least that this next item is a Woolrich um, sweater wrap it's called a cozy blanket wrap um, it looks like this it's got this pretty like purpley pinkish color to it um, on the back it says it was originally $60. I don't know if I believe that, but I know Woolrich stuff can be pricey. It's super duper soft. When I looked up comps on this, they are not good. Like if <laughs> if you want one of these, they are really cheap on eBay. Probably like less than $20 I was seeing. So, I'm not going to list this because it's really pretty and it's soft and it's going to be warm and I don't feel like it's going to give me like a very large profit. So I'm just going to keep it for myself for fall. I think it'll be really cute um, with some jeans and like my fall boots. So I think I paid $2 for this. So still a really good deal, uh, but I'm just going to keep it. At one yard sale, I got a bunch of free stuff. Um, I got a bunch of free vintage t-shirts. They're not all in the best condition, but I took them anyway just to see. I did wash them, but um, just a, a straight wash didn't really get out all of the problems associated with the shirts. So I don't know if they're going to sell. Um, we're just going to take a chance. I just decided to take a chance to because I didn't pay anything for them. So um, there are a couple of pieces. I'll let you guys know what I got for free. I took this. This was free. It is a vintage baby book. It's still in its uh, original, uh, I guess you'd say, box. And it looks like this. And it was never actually written in. It has really pretty... Um, illustrations and stuff like that and it is from 1965 is the date on it so I took that for free it's not really worth much I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99 so I figured if no one really wants to use it specifically to write in as like a baby book um, people that are really into like crafting and doing other such things might enjoy the illustrations or that kind of thing. So we'll see. But regardless, I saved it from the trash. <laughs> I got this baggie of vintage Power Rangers figures. Um, there's just a bunch of random little vinyl, kind of like PVC Power Rangers figures in here. And I'm pretty sure they're marked 1993 and 1994 on the bottoms. So I don't really know much about Power Rangers. Um, you know, I know more about girls' toys than boy toys. Um, I paid 25 cents for this baggie. And I listed it up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. So we'll see if I can get that for it. Um, if not, I'll probably just relist them at that price. I got this uh, old electronic handheld game. This is called LCD Football. Um, it was put out by Radio Shack. I'm not going to get it out of the packaging because the styrofoam um, kind of, it's... I mean, it's just styrofoam, but I don't want to ruin the styrofoam any more than what it is because there's like a chunk that was torn out, I guess, from um, just taking taking the game out. But I did take it out, obviously, to take pictures, and I did test it, and it works. I paid $3 for this, and I listed it up with a buy it now for $25.99. All right, so here's one of the vintage shirts that I took. This is a sweatshirt. It is a size small red crew neck. 
and it says Top Duck on the front. It is from, I'm pretty sure the date says 1987. Um, and it just has a duck on it. So it's like a parody of Top Gun, basically. So I took this one. There is one small hole on the back of the sweatshirt, like right here down at the bottom. So I listed this up um, on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So we'll see if it sells or not. Some vintage clothes can sell really well others not so much i guess it just depends on what it is the size and what people are looking for so we're just taking a chance on the free clothes uh this next item i'm just gonna have to put up a little uh picture because it already sold i sold a bath and body works happy vibes fragrance mist this I paid $2 for and I listed it up as a buy it now for $35.99 and it already sold. It did go to a subscriber. Um, the Happy Vibes fragrance is no longer made. Uh, Bath & Body Works discontinued the fragrance and so it is definitely worth picking up if you ever see it out and about. It's a wonderful scent. I used to have a lotion of it that I would wear at work and anytime I would bust that bad baby out to put on my hands, I had girls swarming around me wanting to use my lotion because it smelled so good. So it's definitely a really awesome scent and unfortunately they don't make it anymore for some reason. So but that already sold. Uh, next, I also got the uh, Bath & Body Works Honolulu Sun. This is the Ultra Shea Body Cream. I paid $2 for this and listed it up as a buy it now for $29.99. Again, a fragrance that is harder to find um, from Bath & Body. Same with this one here. This is the Bali Blue Surf Ultra Shea Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. Paid $2 for this and listed it up as a buy it now also for $29.99. I got this Lily Pulitzer um, ceramic mug. This is in the um, print, I guess you'd say, called Sunset Safari. So I'll take it out here so you can see it a little better. This is really pretty. I'm surprised I didn't decide to keep this for myself because I absolutely love this. It's so bright, cheerful. Uh, tropical just like a really nice one for summer there's like styrofoam pieces all over it but it looks to be in new condition um, and then it also does say Lily here right down along the rim so I paid two dollars for this and I listed it up as a buy it now for twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents next thing I have is this vintage little girls jewelry box so this has a little angel and rainbow motif on it. Um, it does work. It plays a little tune here. I feel like it's twinkle twinkle little star, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, anyway, it's blue on the interior and the ballerina um, spins around. So it's in okay condition. I mean, there is a little bit of issue here along the edges because these are just kind of made of like a cardboardy type um, paper. I feel like these little girls jewelry boxes are slightly harder to find. Um, I did sell one not that long ago that I found at Goodwill. Um, so I don't know. We'll see if this one goes or not. Sometimes it's just like one little thing that brings back some sort of nostalgic, like I, I go nostalgia shopping a lot on eBay and I don't always buy the stuff, but like I like looking at it and it brings back memories. So if someone actually had this when they were a kid and then they go looking for it and you know, it's something that will bring them those happy memories back to have. And that's one of the reasons I love reselling is like connecting people to especially like the older stuff like things that they had when they were younger because I'm big into nostalgia myself. This item I purchased at a yard sale a while back. Like I think it might have been last year. Yeah, last year. I had this since last year, guys. That's why I am really enjoying doing my hauls 
and having everything listed before I do my hauls because it really helps with me continuously getting my stuff listed. And that's what's really important because if you don't have your stuff listed, you're not making money. So anyway, it was a vintage, and I have it upside down, <laughs> this really large Ralph Lauren Polo Sport 1996 beach towel. So I got this at a yard sale. Um, I think I paid $2 for it. And I listed this bad baby up as a buy it now of $69.99. So uh, Ralph Lauren, especially vintage Ralph Lauren, can do really, really well. And this is just a really nice large towel in very good condition. So we'll see if I get that for it or not. At the same sale where I got a lot of free stuff, I found some other vintage -y type things. I got this baby, it's like a sleeping bag. It's got the the zipper down it. And, you know, <laughs> it's like, I say this is a baby sleeping bag, but times have changed so much. Like, I don't know if something like this would really be safe for a baby uh, nowadays. But um, it's really cute. The fabric is absolutely adorable. It's got um, the alphabet on it and then these uh, random little uh, animals. There's pigs and ducks and a cat. And it's just, it's really cute. And it's in very good condition. Like, I think this lady had this stored away and it's been preserved in time because it honestly doesn't even look like it was ever used. Um, I paid 25 cents for it, or no, I paid 50 cents for it, and I put this up on auction with a starting price of $25.99, so we'll see if anyone takes it or not. I figured even just for, like, the fabric alone, like, you could probably make them, because it's, like, filled with um, polyfill, I'm assuming, already, so I feel like it would make a good pillow or something. Um... I got a little nativity set. I don't have all the pieces in front of me um, just because it would take a while to go through them all, but I brought two in here with me so you can see what they look like. So I got Mary and little baby Jesus here. Um, and these are by, they're called Bumpkins is the signature there on the bottom. They're super cute little like ceramic bisque figures. Um, there were, I don't know how many pieces now in this nativity set, uh, but there was one that has an issue, but the rest are all in very good condition. I paid $3 for the set, and I have it listed up as a buy it now for $29.99. So nativity sets, I feel like, can sell decently, especially depending on um, you know, what they look like and who they're made by and that kind of thing. Um, I actually went to an auction and you'll see this foot footage soon. Um, and I purchased like a decent amount of nativity sets. I feel like I got at least two. Maybe it was only one. But regardless, in the footage video, you'll see a lot of nativity sets. No, I got two. I don't even remember. Like, that's... <laughs> That's how crazy it is. Like, I am stocking up so hardcore um, with just inventory, and I'm trying to get through it and editing all my videos and getting stuff listed that, like, I don't even remember what all I have purchased recently. It's kind of crazy. That's a good problem to have, right? That means more inventory means hopefully more money. Uh, I also got this for free at that same yarn sale. This is a little vintage Fisher Price. Um, vacuum cleaner so it would have been for the Fisher Price dollhouse so some dollhouse furniture can sell pretty decently especially if people are looking for a certain piece that maybe was lost or that kind of thing this is from the 90s it's from 1994 is the date on this anyway I didn't pay anything for it and I put it up as a buy it now for nine dollars and ninety nine cents so even if it sells at nine dollars and ninety nine cents I didn't pay a thing for it so it's all good I got okay so we're going back into some of these free vintage clothes that I took I got this vintage shirt and it says wild one hot springs Arkansas 
and it's got this gator on the front that says rude dude he's holding a beer <laughs> it's pretty cool looking um it is a size large you can see though like it's a it's very dingy looking um so it definitely needs some sort of attention to it as far as like bringing back the the appropriate color <laughs> this shirt is supposed to be um the graphics on it are still very vibrant and bright um but other than that uh, it's in good condition aside from the fact that it's dingy so it was free i listed it up on auction with a starting price of 19 dollars 99 so i don't know if i'll even get that for it but since they were free we're just taking a chance same with this next shirt this is like a nascar racing shirt it's tied um Again, really nice, vibrant graphics on it, and it's double-sided. This is the back. Unfortunately, this is a size small. Um, I don't think there's any holes or anything in this, but again, it's a white shirt, so it is ever so slightly dingy colored. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. I'm just looking to see if there are any holes. Oh, yeah, and there are some, like... I feel like there's some staining down here along the bottom, which may or may not come out. Like I said, I threw these in the laundry, but I didn't use any kind of specific stain remover or like try to pre-treat them or anything like that. So it's hard to say if it'll come out. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time with them since I, you know, just got them free and I'm not expecting much out of these free shirts. Uh, but anyway, I put this up on auction with a starting price again of $19.99. Same with this next one is a vintage SeaWorld shirt. Looks like this, double-sided. And that's a size medium. Again, very dingy looking. And there are some, like, stain-looking spots on it. I'm not sure if this one has a hole at or not. I know one of them did have a small one up at the collar. But yeah, you can see like there are marks on the sleeves here. So I don't know. We're going to see. Um, put that up. I think I put this one up as a buy it now for $19.99. As I was listing, I was kind of thinking like there's no, like I don't even think I'm going to get $19.99 for them. So I'm just going to put them up as buy it now instead of wasting doing an auction because I'm not even expecting one bid. So we'll see. This next shirt I got a little while ago. This one wasn't a free shirt, but I was washing it while I was washing all the rest of them because um, it was just down in a in a tote that I had. That's where I found my the beach towel as well. Um, I also found this shirt, and this is a vintage motocross shirt. It says AXO uh, Racing, AXO Sport Racing. Um, or does that say BMX? Uh, I don't know. Eh, something. It says something up there. Anyway, I... I paid two dollars for this shirt um i got it at the same yard sale that i purchased two other bmx jersey type shirts at um those ones were in really great condition very vibrantly colored and they sold really well um i wasn't even going to pick this one up because it was white and dingy and there are some again stain stain marks on the shirt oh and this one not even has some problems here on the bottom there's like a hole over here and there's like loose hems overall it's just you know obviously very pre-worn type of thing i listed this one up as a, on auction with a starting price of 25 dollars 99 and it does already have a bid surprisingly so these um motocross type of jersey shirts I guess it doesn't matter what kind of condition they're in. Uh, people are more into those than I guess a SeaWorld t-shirt. <laughs> All right, another free vintage sweatshirt is this guy here. It says Party Gator. So this also has an alligator and he's holding some beers. At first I thought this was a kid's sweatshirt, but there's no way that a kid's sweatshirt would have an alligator 
with beer, right? It's a size medium. Because his beer can say things like Gator 45, Gator Light, um, Gator Wiser, <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, this one, I don't think this one is really in too horrible of a condition but still like white is such a color especially when it comes even to like new shirts um it just gets that dingy look very very quickly um so i did list this one up i didn't write oh my gosh i didn't write i probably started it at 19 dollars 99 i just don't know if that was a buy it now or auction but i kind of just went with 19.99 for pretty much all of these we also got another vintage SeaWorld shirt. This one looks like this. And this one's actually from 1989. It is a size medium. But again, white, dingy, fun, fun, fun. Um, and this one also has some random little stains on it. So I don't know. I just don't know. Like, I wasn't going to even take these because I was like, am I just wasting my time? Uh, but I'm just experimenting because, you know, some vintage shirts can sell. Uh, so this one I put up as a buy it now for $19.99. Was also in the tote with the beach towel and the um, motocross shirt. I got it the same day I got the motocross shirt. Uh, we paid $2 for this. And it's just a white short-sleeved shirt. Um, it says Yamaha four-stroke, which is like a, a motor uh, for y that Yamaha makes. Uh, but the back has this really cute print. It says cranking the tunes, and it has these like fish on a boat. But um, again, this is kind of dingy and just not in like the best condition there is like marks here on the back of the shirt so this here I put up um I don't know why I put this up on auction but I did apparently uh at $19.99 so we'll see but like I said I'm not expecting anything with these shirts and I'm I'm just I'm having those like second thoughts like when I was listing them, I was having those second thoughts of like, I shouldn't even have took these. I shouldn't have took these. Why did I take these kind of thing? So we'll see. Let's see world. Okay, we're almost done the vintage shirts. Um, actually, I think this is the last one. Yeah, I think this is the last one. Um, this one is a vintage Bush Gardens shirt. It says it's a jungle out there and it has a tiger print on it. This one I think is the coolest out of all of them. It is a size medium. It is single stitch. And I feel like there's like a small little colored, it's like just ever so slightly, like there's like a pink mark here on the one sleeve. But other than that, I feel like this one is in decent condition. Like it's, the coloring of it, it's made to be the color that it is, which is like a light, um, yellowish beige, I guess is how I would describe it. Anyway, I did put this one up on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Got this men's button up. This is a Harley Davidson uh, button up shirt. This size extra large. It's brown plaid. Looks like this. It has two front pockets and then on the back it does have a little bit of a print there at the top. So this was $5, paid $5 for this Harley shirt. And I put it up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. I feel like it's a really nice shirt, good size. So we'll see if it sells for that or not. This is my last clothing item. Um, I got this Victoria's Secret pink, gray kind of pullover hoodie. Um, I got this at a fill -a bag rummage sale. I did not list it because I'm thinking of keeping it for myself. I didn't try it on yet though. So if I don't like how it looks or something like that, then it will be listed. I got this pair of Keen shoes. 
These are actually a youth size. These are a size youth three. They're pink. Very, very cute. In really nice condition. I feel like maybe they were worn one time, if that. Um, I paid $3 for them, and I listed them up as a buy it now for $39.99. I don't normally pick up children's clothing or children's shoes or anything like that, but I figured for $3, a pair of Keens, I mean, if these were adults, I would have picked them up, no questions asked. Um, so, you know, when I saw them and I saw that they still were like in the box and everything, I figured for $3, we're just going to take them and try, um, see how well kids' shoes will sell. I got this little Brighton coin purse. It has a little um, flippy flap right here in the front that you can put a picture in and it's just a little just a little coin purse I paid 10 cents for this it is leather um, and I put this up as a buy it now for nine dollars and 99 cents I got one of these little pink Tupperware containers I had gotten a red one just like this at a yard sale um, and I just use it to put pills in like for headaches and cramps and stuff like that like when I'm out and about I just throw this in my bag um and I had a red one but I saw this pink one and I told Eric I wanted an upgrade so um I bought the pink one so I'm gonna give the red one to him to put in his lunch box um I did get a calculator this isn't worth anything I don't think I paid a dollar for it I love the fact that it was pink. Um, I actually still use calculators, um, like not on my phone, like legit calculators. When I'm having a yard sale with other people, like if it's more than just me or that kind of thing, um, what, and if you guys have yard sales, you understand. Like when there's like a ton of people at your yard sale and you have people coming up with like arms full of stuff and like everything belongs to someone different. It can get very confusing very quickly of keeping everything in order and having a calculator just helps helps me anyway. I was never very good at math so I like to just you know have a little bit of more reassurance <laughs> with a calculator. So I got that for myself. I also got these Impress nails. These are just um, press-on nails for 50 cents. I actually, and I have them laying here still, I actually got this same exact ones at another yard sale um, a couple weeks before. Actually, they're not the same ones. These ones are ever so slightly different. The ones I got um, this past time are like a matte and then they just have these glittery accents. And these ones here are more of a, this has got a shine to them. And then there's like a chevron accent nail. So it's not even exactly the same. Here I thought they were the same. Anyway, 50 cents. I like these press on nails. They do last a while. Um, I actually have a pair on right now, um, but I'm ready to take these off. I can only stand them for so long and then I'm ready to remove them. <laughs> but I do like them. All right, we also, gosh, I'm not done yet, am I? Um, I got this Starbucks tumbler. I just love the look of this. It was $2, and there's still a paper inside. The lady said it's brand new. She never used it. Um, I am not sure if this one is worth anything. I haven't really taken the time yet to look it up. So if it's not worth anything, I'm probably just going to keep it in my collection until either it's worth something or just use it myself um, in the meantime. So, but for $2, that was a great deal regardless. I have been picking up some vintage uh, books lately. Um, I've been picking up Babysitter's Club books so I can make like a large lot of Babysitter's Club books to sell. I think I already have this one, but what the hey, I typically only pay 25 cents to 50 cents for the books. So um, I did pick up this one. 
And then I've also been picking up R.L. Stein books, especially the Fear Street series. This one is a super chiller called Party Summer. There's some issue with the... I'm not too particular when it comes to issues with these vintage paperback books because, you know, when we were, when we were teens, like, whatever, like, we're just reading them, um, that kind of thing. So stuff happens and, you know, if someone's looking for pristine stuff, then obviously they'll look for brand new, um, oh my gosh, what the heck? I can see like a little, um heart engraved here with someone's initials in that's cute what a teen thing right uh so i got that and then i'm also going to be doing a large lot i mean obviously i have to find um a lot <laughs> of these vintage books but i also want to do like a large lot of just vintage random um teen horror paperback books and i found this nightmare hall and I remember these ones. I, I read this one. I don't know if I had it, but I know one of my friends had like this whole series and I was always borrowing them from her so I could read them. Um, but if you have a large lot of these specifically, the Nightmare Hall series, they can do well. Um, and I always liked it because they had like a little window in the front and then there would be a picture behind it. I don't know. I loved these books when I was um, in like middle school. So got that. Um, these two items I feel like weren't in the footage video that you saw. It'll be in like the next yard sale footage video. But um, they're not stuff that's being listed. So I figured I'd just sh show them to you already. <laughs> um, but I found this tea fort um, box of tea this was one dollar and it's brand new and it comes with all of these packages of tea and they all sound wonderful there's raspberry ganache harvest apple spice rum raisin biscotti spiced ginger plum and winter chai so great like warm uh flavors for fall and winter which is my favorite time to drink tea i can even kind of smell them through the packaging. They smell so good. And these don't expire until 2000. They don't expire until 2023. So I didn't have any problem picking them up. And like I said, they were only a dollar. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then also at that same sale where I got the tea, I got this package of dark chocolate coffee beans. I paid 25 cents for them. They did melt a little bit and they melted in my car. They weren't actually melting when I purchased them, but it was a really hot day. Um, these are from a local coffee shop in my area. I've never tried a chocolate covered coffee bean before in my life. Never had one. I figured for a quarter, I'd try it. We would try them. There's no expiration date on it, but I figured what the hey for a quarter we're gonna try it and I'm gonna try it here on camera so you guys can see my reaction reaction to a <laughs> uh, chocolate covered coffee bean I love coffee and I love chocolate so you know to me I just feel like how can you go wrong mm, they smell really good they smell like chocolate and coffee I'm only going to eat one just because um, I'm sure you can get a, a decent uh, caffeine buzz if you eat a couple of these. I definitely wouldn't suggest eating an entire pouch. Probably could kill yourself. Um, mm, they smell really good though. So let's see. I want to just bite into it to see what like the center is like. I feel like the bite... I just had was strictly chocolate like I didn't actually get to the bean yet okay there's the bean um mm -hmm. very crunchy mm. I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolate like these would probably be so much better in my opinion if they were milk chocolate but 
it's a good flavor. I do like it. They are good. Um, if I were ever craving them and I went back to like purchase, like actually purchase some uh, chocolate coffee beans, I would definitely get milk chocolate. But they're really good. So they'll be just like a nice thing to pop in, in my mouth when I'm craving a little chocolate, but I also want a little bit of caffeine and don't really want to drink a cup of coffee. Um, but yeah, the bean itself, ever so slightly bitter, but the chocolate helps mask that. So yeah, I don't know. I like them. I'm pretty easy to please though when it comes to chocolate. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments, and I will see you next time.